Oakland in California is 2,000 miles from where Trayvon Martin died. Yet the protests here have been some of America's most intense because his death has brought back memories. The face on the murals is that of Oscar Grant, another unarmed young black man shot and killed. Passengers on a New Year's Eve train filmed it, Oscar on the ground, restrained by two transport police officers. The one who fired said he meant to grab his taser, not his gun. It led to riots, then more protests when that officer, like George Zimmerman, was cleared of murder. The family's lawyer says the black community is now asking the same questions again. Trayvon Martin has created this real fear among vast majority of the African American community, particularly mothers, that their son, like Trayvon Martin, could be accosted by some gun-toting uh, vigilante person and shot and kill, and there would be no justification for it and no vindication of it. And at the very moment America is consumed by the debate over Trayvon Martin's death, with remarkable timing, the story of Oscar Grant's is about to hit the big screen. Five, four, three, two. Fruitvale Station, the movie, is named after the metro stop where Oscar Grant died. It tells the story of his last 24 hours. We're just trying to get home. What is going on? His family wanted it made, however painful to watch. They say time heals wounds, but it was still really fresh there. I think I almost cried the whole movie. Uh, African-American or brown life, you know, doesn't matter, you know, um, to the judicial system. And so we want people to know that their lives matter, our lives matter. And um, not only do they matter, but people are loved. In a city blighted by gun crime and with a history of tension between the black community and police, the issue of race in the justice system is a fact of life in Oakland. It's a galvanizing uh, event. Historic. Church leaders see little together. changing. Consistent with the framers intent of the US Constitution, black people at the time that they wrote that document only had were considered to be three-fifths of a human being. I don't see where that has changed at all in the way that the institutions deal with us, particularly regarding uh, justice. White people have five-fifths of justice, we have three-fifths of it, and that's what you get uh, in the Trayvon Martin case, the Oscar Grant case. Fruitvale Station has become a landmark in that struggle, a poster for the movie on the wall. Wherever there's a sense of injustice, the past remains very much in the present. Greg Milam, Sky News, Oakland, California.